I will be giving myself 5 to 10 seconds to think. Um, that incident set me back quite a few years in my life. I used to search for validation and approval from other people. It is a positive way to create change. If I really want to see a difference, then I have to make a change. It always, always comes back to you a hundredfold. Hi guys! As you can see, I changed my outfit. Ayan na. Ayoko na tumayo. Basta. Ano ba to? Tama na ba yan? Pwede na ako nang ano, maglagay ng ng pearls. So, kaya nang <laughs> Okay na yan, di ba? Ayun, wala lang. Nag-change ako na outfit para uh, mas malaki yung chance ko manalo. <laughs> Hindi. Ano, kinailangan ko kasi ng part 2. Napagod ako sa ano, sa first 7 questions. Parang naubos agad yung energy ko. So, Ayun. Ganun ata talaga kapag na-exercise yung brain, no? Kaya ayoko nag-iisip, eh. Um, ayun lang. Kit na earrings ko. <laughs> okay, let's continue. For the eighth question, uh, Demi Nell Peters, Tibo, South Africa, 2017. Hmm? Alam niyo si Demi talaga yung favorite Miss Universe ko kasi... Ang genuine niya. Tapos, ang ganda pa ng accent, ba? And yung beauty niya, pang, pang royalty, ang charming, ganun. Question is, what quality in yourself are you most proud of? And how will you apply that quality to your time as Miss Universe? Mm. Uh, I see myself as an outspoken woman. Um, everyone who knows me sees me as this super quiet person who's very observant. And I understand that sometimes it's good to be unbothered, but I always try to to keep myself informed or aware because I'm not the kind of person who remains silent, especially about the things that matter. And um, in this world, women are socialized to be unassertive. But I always try to speak up my mind and voice out my opinions when needed. And as a Miss Universe, my voice holds so much power. And I believe that power could make such a huge difference in telling everyone when to use their voices. <sighs> Question number 9. Iris Mitena. France 2016. Ni research ko pa kung paano i-pronounce yung surname niya. Tapos sabi niya, kahit daw mga French pala, nahihirapan doon. <laughs> Name something in your life that you failed at and tell us what you learned from that experience. Ba't ang hirap nun? Wait. <laughs> Challenge ko pa. Ginusto mo yan. Um... Well, I never really failed big time at something before. And um, maybe I just don't recall, but let me tell you about failing several exams in medical school. Um, I used to be one of the achievers back in high school, so getting failing remarks uh, affects me in a bad way. Uh, I get disappointed and demotivated when I see people excel, especially when I know that we all tried our best to do well. The girl I am cute. Sorry. Um I admit that I get too distracted at times and I procrastinate a lot. But I feel like this system was built to make me feel terrible and incompetent in some way. And I think the best learning from this was that irrespective of my failures, I just have to rise each time and keep my eyes. On the goal. <laughs> Who? Bakit ganwan? Parang di naman pang ano, Miss Universe. Parang di naman Miss Universe worthy yun. <laughs> Wait, try ko ulit. Two thousand years later. Okay na pala yun. <laughs> <laughs> Next question. Rio Mori, Japan, 2007. What is the one lesson you learned as a child that still affects your life today? <laughs> um, 
Growing up, I have learned the importance of having a family. It is my family, my family uh, who has contributed to my identity and my values. And this lesson still affects my life today because, uh, generally speaking, uh, family provides a sense of connection and togetherness. And without togetherness, the world would be in total chaos. And I'd like to say that I was I am blessed enough to be born in such a loving family. And they always remind me that I am never alone in my journey through life and that's what I wish for everyone to experience. <laughs> Question number 11. The latest Miss Universe, Andrea Meza, Mexico 2020. If you were the leader of your country, how would you have handled the COVID-19 pandemic? Okay, coming from the Philippines, we have less resources and our healthcare infrastructure is not as resilient as the other economies. So if I were the leader of my country, and considering that I'm also a future practicing physician, I will um, provide concrete and science-based solutions. Simply extending the quarantine and Locking people in their homes won't lessen the cases. I will uh, strengthen mass testing and contact tracing, uh, implement travel ban even before we detect a community transmission, and I will provide free vaccination for all. And not only should I address this public health crisis, very chill, but I think it is also important to find ways in addressing problems regarding uh, the education system, unemployment, poverty, and even the economy as they are all equally affected by the pandemic. Pakasan nga itong part na to sa gobyerno natin. Joke. Question number 12. Pia words back, Philippines 2015. Why should you be the next Miss Universe? If I were to be the next Miss Universe, I will... Pull it. Um, if I were to be the next Miss Universe, I will use this platform not only to become a role model in celebrating and empowering women and all genders, but also in advocating for the integrity of the environment. Um, it's sad to see such a lack of compassion in everyone as well as uh, concern for nature and for decades now we've been ignoring the impact of our actions on this planet so to do anything of great measure i will uh, encourage everyone to get involved and do their part because having empathy and compassion towards other people and showing having genuine connection with nature is what makes someone truly beautiful. <laughs> Bakit sa lahat ng questions dito pa ako nahirap, but I couldn't put into words what I wanted to say. But sana nagets niyo yung point. <laughs> but bakong nag explain For the next one, we have the question for Janik Masera, Peru 2020. Alam niyo kung hindi si Miss India, siya yung bet ko na maging Miss Universe this year. Parang, nagustuhan ko yung ano, yung, yung final statement niya about climate change. Diba? What would you say to the women watching tonight who are currently experiencing sexual or domestic abuse? Um, as a woman, I have seen and encountered too many victims of sexual or domestic abuse. And I believe no one should have to go through it. You do not deserve it. Uh, it may seem like the world doesn't care, but I do. Um, because dealing with it every day, living with your abuser, and uh, healing from the trauma of it all is never easy. And I do not wish for you to suffer alone. Uh, there is always hope. Uh, I want you to know that 
I will listen to you, I will believe you, and I will stand with you. At parang kulang. Okay na ba Second to the last question na. Ah, uh, ayan. Katriona Gray, Philippines 2018. The standard. Alam niyo yung batch nila yung pinakamagaling na top 5. Def- definitely one of the best. Like, they all deserve the crown, but... Wala, Catriona set the bar so high. I don't think uh, anybody could ever compare to that performance. Okay, what is the most important lesson you've learned in your life and how would you apply it to your time as Miss Universe? Uh, the most important lesson I've learned is that things don't always go the way you want them to. Uh, I've been placed in this kind of situation numerous times before. Sometimes I get a lot, sometimes I get a few. And every time it happens, I am only motivated to keep trying. And as Miss Universe, I am here and uh, I would like to remind everyone that if you work hard enough for something you really want, then it will eventually be given to you. Wala the best pa I work a lot in the slums of Tondo, Manila. No <laughs> ilum braso ko. Robi, ano yan? Okay, last question na. Lozi Bini Twinsi, South Africa 2019. Out of all the contestants I've watched in Miss Universe, for me, siya yung may pinakamagandang answer. Um. Very powerful kasi, and hanggang ngayon naisip ko pa rin yung ano, yung sagot niya. Ito yun. Uh, the most important thing we should be teaching young girls today is leadership. It is something that has been lacking in young girls and women for a very long time. Not because we don't want to, but because of what society has labeled women to be. Huh? Diba? <laughs> I got it cemented in my brain kasi... Well, hindi pa complete yun na, but I was moved, and I think she really did well in using this opportunity to uh, break gender stereotypes instead of conforming to society standards. Sana or. Sana or. Last question. What is the most important thing we should be teaching young girls today? I think... Okay. I think the most important thing we should be teaching young girls today is not to hold themselves from speaking up the truth. Um, too many people let others be their voice instead of using their own voice. And we are living in a society bent on suppressing all forms of female autonomy. So you have to know when to fight. You have to stand your ground. And I believe that every voice is uh, worthy of being listened to. And all it takes is one voice. To make a difference. Ay, grabe na tapos din. <laughs> Whew. Ang hirap pala talaga. Naintindihan ko na sila. Next time, hindi na ako magagalit pag hindi maganda yung answers ng contestants. <laughs> the new Miss Universe is Philippines! Charot! Hindi <laughs> na ako naguyot sa dami ng sinigot kong questions. Deserve ko naman siguro yung crown. <laughs> uh, I think that's it for the Miss Universe Q&A challenge. Pwede naman ako mag-join. <laughs> Thank you guys for watching. Uh, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And see you on my next vlog. Bye!